What? I can get jacked just eating kiwis? Is this guy fat? He needs to hear the truth. I like the truth. And so what do you think of this guy? Is he obese? Is he fat? What body fat percentage do you think it is? Let me What's know this guy even talking about? And why is his voice so high? I'm just gonna watch some TV. This guy's got, what? Is this even about fitness? 20 girls in a house? Steroids are the future? I'm Tanner Shuck. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think about the biggest fitness YouTubers. Now, if you didn't know, YouTube is a giant world full of everything you could possibly ever wanna learn, including fitness. Unfortunately, there's no social media laws to ban bad fitness content. So how are you, the viewer, supposed to decide between who's telling the truth and who's lying? This is where I come in. Now, why does my opinion matter? While I may not have been on YouTube as long or have nearly as many subs as these guys, number one, I guarantee I've spent just as much time or more time training myself and coaching as anyone. And number two, I'm legitimately fit. I'm strong and I have the physique to match, all while being 100% lifetime natty. And I'm still training hard. And the only thing I take more seriously than YouTube is my health. So please believe I know who's legit and who's not. But we're not here to talk about me. We're here to give you the lowdown on these guys, many of whom I'm sure you know. The fitness YouTube industry is huge and there are tons of fitness YouTubers way more popular than me. And the only criteria I used to selecting the biggest fitness YouTubers were, they had to have over 1 million subscribers and they had to regularly pop up on my YouTube homepage and recommended videos list. All right, so let's get into it. But before we do, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. How could I not start with Athlean X and Jeff Cavalier? The man has the biggest fitness channel on YouTube with over 13 million subscribers. The dude is definitely not the biggest or the strongest guy on YouTube, but I'd still consider him a badass. He's extremely intelligent, an amazing entrepreneur, and has done more with his channel than any other fitness YouTuber to date. The fact that he's been on YouTube, building his channel for over 17 years is incredible. I mean, you can't not respect the guy. What I also love about him is he's doing it for the right reasons. All his content is educational. You will legitimately learn something every time you watch one of his videos. Now, do I agree with everything he says? Not exactly. I tend to take a much simpler approach to my fitness content, and I always preach the basics and prioritizing the most value for time exercises. Whereas, there's been a few times I've watched his content and I've wondered, what the heck is this guy doing? And this looks a bit gimmicky. But if you're a guy that likes going deep into the weeds and wants to know the tiny details of biomechanics, anatomy, or which directions of the muscle of pec fibers run versus your pec major and your pec minor, you can learn that from his channel. Overall, I like Jeff Cavalier and I respect the fuck out of him. One thing I really admire is that you will never hear him criticize or speak ill of others. He's also been incredibly prolific putting out high quality educational YouTube videos since 2006. Like I said, that's 17 years. He also has over 1300 videos and the man has made a massive positive impact on the world. Jeff Nippard. This guy takes fitness education to another level. The dude has nearly 3.8 million subscribers and deservingly so. Here's a few things that I love about his videos. They're extremely educational and packed with information. Anytime you watch this guy's videos, you're gonna learn something. His channel is completely science-based, so you know the information he's sharing is legitimate, or at the very least, unbiased and quite accurate. And his video quality is exceptional. In fact, every time I watch one of his videos, I'm blown away by how well done they are. Sometimes, he actually makes me feel bad about myself, and I'm like, how can I ever get to this guy's level? Now, while I do love his approach to his channel, and it's been undeniably extremely successful, I do feel that if you take too much of a science-based approach to fitness, it leads to overthinking, and you can become a victim of paralysis by analysis. I'm a firm believer that we shouldn't overthink the most basic concepts, and that we can and should use human intuition to guide our training and nutrition. Just use common sense. Anyone with a strong, lean, muscular physique that's legitimately fit will tell you to stop overthinking and just prioritize the basic lifts, squats, deadlifts, presses, and pulls, and always eat the basic foods, meat, chicken, fish, quality dairy, fruits, vegetables, healthy carbs, and most importantly, be patient. Yes, science is amazing, and overall, I'm a huge Jeff Nippert fan. Just remember, there's beauty in simplicity, so don't overthink or stress about trivial details when it comes to your training or diet because no matter what, you cannot outscience hard work and consistency. Matt Does Fitness and Mike Thurston, two other big time fitness YouTubers that I've watched a lot. I decided to pair these two guys together simply because they've collaborated together numerous times and they share many similarities in their content. I'm not gonna lie, at first, I was totally jealous of these guys. They're tall, jacked, tan, and handsome. 
I mean, how could you not be jealous, right? They're pretty much the total package. But the more I watched their content, instead of continuing to be a jealous little the more they inspired me to start my own YouTube channel. Because I realized if these guys can do it, then so can I. So rather than envy them, I decided to learn from them. Both Matt and Mike have huge channels and have been in the game for a while. They've built their own brands and have been very successful. And at the end of the day, both guys have worked really hard for a really long time and it's paid off. Regarding their content, I'm like 50-50 on it. Only because we have completely different training styles and philosophies. My content is more geared towards fitness, performance, and nutrition and mindset, and I will consider theirs to be more bodybuilding, aesthetics, lifestyle, or doing crazy challenges. And it's clearly worked for them. I know a big knock on Matt Does Fitness and Mike Thurston is that they're often accused of being fake natties and lying about it. And I mean, just look at these dudes. They're both jacked as f and based on what you see from their content, I can totally understand why anyone would be skeptical about their natty status. Now, do I think they're on steroids? I sure as shit hope they are, because they make me feel tiny. But if they're not, they should just take this as a massive compliment, because I never want to be a guy to talk badly about others or to make accusations that diminish someone's years of hard work when there's no real way to truly know. Overall, these are two YouTube fitness powerhouses, and I absolutely think you can get some value out of their content. Greg do sit. Undoubtedly, one of the most polarizing fitness YouTubers. I think he's one of these guys you either love or hate. Even if you hate him, with nearly 1.8 million subs, you can't ignore him. Not only that, the dude's put out over 2,700 videos. 2,700! I can't even put out one high quality YouTube video a week, and this guy puts out one to two videos a day. So he's definitely more of a quantity guy in his content style than a quality guy like Jeff Nippard. But after consuming some of his content, you'll see he kind of treats his channel almost like a daily vlog, as the majority of his content are basically reaction, opinion, or speculation videos. Really just about other fitness YouTubers. And like every day I log on to YouTube, I'm inundated with another video of his talking about some other YouTuber. And I'm like, oh no, here we go again. I honestly can't keep up with him. So I really can't give a fair opinion on him simply because I haven't consumed enough of his content. There's no doubt he's an incredibly intelligent guy who's worked very hard to build up his channel. I think a funny joke would be, you'll know you've made it in the fitness industry when Greg Doucette's made a video about you. Jesse James West and Will Tennyson. Similar to Matt Does Fitness and Mike Thurston, I had to pair these guys together because their content is really similar. I actually don't even consider these guys legitimate fitness YouTubers. And that's not an insult, but they're more like entertainment YouTubers that just work out. Just watch a bit of their content and I think you'll agree. And with 2.76 million and 1.9 million subs, both of these dudes are crushing it. These guys have definitely hacked the YouTube formula with killer video ideas, great thumbnails and titles, and that pique the viewer's interest. And most importantly, their content captivates the viewer and keeps them watching. The crazy thing about YouTube is you can make your channel about whatever you want it to be about. So while technically these guys are fitness YouTubers, they've definitely taken the fitness entertainment direction over fitness education. Now, I don't watch a lot of their content personally, but when I do, it never fails to make me laugh or shake my head. I mean, who wouldn't want to watch 30 days of semen retention or eating junk food for 50 hours straight? So if you're into watching YouTube for fitness entertainment, I think these guys are as good as it gets. Before we go any further, today's video is brought to you by my sponsor, Transparent Labs, and I'm being transparent with you. I'm paid to say this, but if you legit want the highest quality supplements at the most affordable price while also directly supporting me, check out Transparent Labs with the link in the description below and use discount code TANNER and save. And last but not least, Ryan Humiston. Definitely my favorite of the big fitness YouTubers. This dude's content is legit, that's all I can say. His videos have insanely good editing, he chooses great topics, they're educational, and he has a great sense of humor. And you can tell he works really hard at them. Now while I've never seen the guy in person, the dude looks jacked, and you can tell he practices what he preaches, and I respect that. Now is he natty? Hard to say. I know he's made videos about using peptides, and I know it's been rumored he takes testosterone replacement therapy, and I hope he does, because the dude lives in Jack City. He definitely comes from a bodybuilding background, and I'd say he specializes in hypertrophy training. But I've watched quite a bit of his content, and he covers everything from training, nutrition, supplements, and lifestyle, and peptides, and maybe even steroids. I'm not really sure I haven't watched enough of his content. And again, I'm not here to judge or point fingers. I could care less if he isn't natty. And I like his content, most out of everyone on this list, which is why I saved him for last. He's a legit fitness YouTuber and entrepreneur. His content speaks for itself, and most importantly, he's another guy that's doing it for the right reasons, to help and educate people, so I respect the f out of that, and I definitely feel he's worthy of a sub. 
So yeah, there's my opinion on the biggest fitness YouTubers, but I'm curious to know what you guys think. So make sure to leave a comment. Also, who did I miss? I'm always keen to learn more on YouTube. And if there's any big time fitness YouTubers whose content you love or hate, comment below. And if you guys need help with your training or nutrition, make sure to check out my true strength training programs. They're free to try. So you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain, literally. Also, if you enjoyed the video and you wanna support me and my cameraman, John, please click on the support me link in the description below or the super thanks button where you can leave us a virtual tip. I promise any and all tips we receive from these virtual tips only goes towards us creating more helpful and free content for you all to enjoy. And don't forget, check out these videos if you haven't already. And please make sure to like, share, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you never miss another video. And remember, don't just be strong, be truly strong. I'll see you guys on the next one.